Hello, welcome back to some Stratomatic Baseball. As you can see, uh, I have some 1990 action on the table. Um, those of you who have seen the video, uh, when I got the 1990 set, knew I was pretty excited about it, so I wanted to uh, do a little project with it. So I'd mentioned replaying the uh, National League Championship Series, and so that's what I am doing here. Uh, also, those of you who might be following the channel know I'm kind of on an as-carded kick, so this game or the series rather will be as-carded, um, and um, so uh, we have the Reds at the Pirates. Uh, in real life, it looks like the Pirates or the Reds rather had the home field advantage. I'm not for sure how that worked out, uh, but I'm giving the Pirates the home field advantage because they had the best record, so they will get the first two games. The Reds get the middle three, and the Pirates get the last two. So I assume that's a home field advantage. Seems like it would be to me. Uh, so, again, uh, doing as carded, have injuries uh, going. Uh, so, again, this is a little bit more open-ended. Nothing against as played. I enjoy those very much. But, again, kind of on an as carded kick right now. So I thought I would do that in this series. So, again, I uh, just uh, got some bigger projects going. So I thought this would be a fun little short one. So, uh, best of seven series. Uh, if the Reds win, uh, I might go ahead and replay the World Series as well, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, so for now, uh, we will have the Reds at Three River Stadium in Pittsburgh. Uh, I have been was able to catch a few games there. Um, these cards, as you can see, are not as bright and vivid <laughs> as my newer sets because these were printed in 1991, so they've been around for a little while. So again, uh, the computer is handling uh, the, the Pirates, and I will be managing the Reds, of course, and uh, uh, set up uh, my first tournament. Uh, so i uh, never done that before, so that was kind of an experience, but it wasn't too difficult. So um, anyway, let's get the game started. Leading off for the Reds will be left fielder Billy Hatcher. Uh, starting for the Pirates, uh, again doing as carded, it's the pitchers who had the most starts, so that would be Doug Drabeck for the Pirates and Tom Browning for the Reds. Uh, Drabeck is 22-6 and six with a 276 ERA, so he had a very fine season. So we will get it started here. So Billy Hatcher, right-handed hitter, will... Step into the batter's box, and here we go. That's a 2-5, and that's going to be a hard grounder down to Jay Bell at shortstop. He sets and throws out the speedy hatcher for out number one. That brings Barry Larkin to the plate, Hall of Fame shortstop. He hit 301, seven home runs, and the real-life 1990 campaign. That's a 2-9, and that's popped up on the infield. Jay Bell will get his second opportunity of the, of the inning, and there's quickly two away. Paul O'Neill, 270, 16 home runs, 28 doubles, left-handed hitting right fielder. Here is the pitch from Drabeck. That's a 6-8, and that's popped up on the infield. This time it will be Jose Lean, and... The Reds are retired in order. So we played a half an inning here in Pittsburgh. Pirates nothing. The Reds coming to bat. So Gary Reedus with uh, Tom Browning being a left-handed pitcher. Uh, the or the uh, Pirates have... Uh, kind of in a little different lineup. So again, Gary Reedus, the former Reds, playing first base and leading off. He hit 247 with 33 walks. Had a pretty good on-base percentage overall. Tom Browning was 15 and 9 with a 380 ERA. And I missed the tower. So that's a 4-7, and that's going to be a single to left field. So Gary Reedus will strike first against his old teammates. He is a good hand to run. Browning holds it a minus two. Jeff Reed, who's catching today, is a plus one. So we will definitely hold. Jay Bell is an A bunner, so we will 
play the corners in as well. So we've got our Pirate there on first base. Corners in. And they're going to let Jay Bell hit away. That's a 4-7 again. <laughs> and that's another single to left field. Reedus runs at a 17. So Hatcher will field it. And he's going to try for third. 1-13, to 13, he's there. Um, actually, he's going to hold it second. Let's see. Okay. He decided not to go, but we are going to hold Reedus on at second because he has got a good... Decent chance of stealing third. So that brings Andy Van Slyke to the plate, who's a B bunner. He hit 284 with 17 home runs. So we're going to have to bring the corners in, much as I hate to. So Andy Van Slyke, they're going to let him hit away. That's a 1 6, and he flies out to right field. Paul O'Neill will chase it down. See if Reedus tries to tag up. And he does not. So the Reds get that first important out as Vance Lyke flies out to Paul O'Neill. It brings up the heart of the Pirate lineup, the dangerous Bobby Bonilla, who hit 280 with 32 home runs, 39 doubles. He uh, is actually a little better against righties, thankfully. Tom Browning looks into the sign from Reed. Here's the pitch to Bonilla. That's a 3-5, and that's trouble. That's going to be hit deep to center field. Davis won't get to it as it's over his head. Bounces off the wall. Reedus will score easily, and they're going to hold Bell at third, and Bonilla is in with a double. So the Pirates strike first here. Bobby Bonilla with a big double to center field. And an RBI, that brings up Barry Bonds to the plate. He hit 301 with 33 home runs himself, so I think we're going to gonna give him a free pass, which happened a lot in his career. So the uh, Pirates have 15, 15, and 17 on the bases, so they've got some speed. Bases loaded, and that'll bring Jeff King, the third baseman, to the plate. So I think we're going to play the corners in, hoping for a double play up the middle. So Browning in trouble early. That's a 6-9, and that's a shortstop X. So Larkin is a 1, so it's going to be an out, hopefully a double play. He gets a 5, and it is if he doesn't make an error. He made a 12, and he doesn't. So fine defensive play by Barry Larkin up the middle. Flips it to Doran, on to Morris. Big, big double play. Good defense there by the red shortstop. So the Reds dodge a major bullet that inning as the Pirates are only able to muster one run on three base hits. No errors. They leave two on. We've played one in Pittsburgh. It is one nothing Pirates. So Doug Drabeck will face Eric Davis. Here in the top of the second. Davis at 260 with 24 home runs. That's a 6-5, and he is going to whiff. David, Eric Davis would do that a lot as he had 100 and 453 at bats. So he's out for out number one. Hal Morris hit 340, 309 at bats. He's getting the start at first base today with the right handed Dre back on the mound. That's a 6'6, six, six, and 1 to 17 is a single, and he got a 14. So let's get their first base hit of the game.
Morris actually has got some speed. Drayback holds at a minus one. Don Slott has a, a zero arm, so we're going to see if Morris can get the lead. And he can't, so he will not go anywhere. So we got Chris Sabo at 270, 25 home runs, 38 doubles. He had a very good year. So we're going to let him hit away. He is a B hit and runner, but I'm going to let him go ahead and hit away. That's a 5-11. That's a pitcher X. Drayback is a 2-6. So hopefully we can avoid the double play at least. Oh, he gets a 1. So that's going to be a single. And he gets a 16. So no error. So that's going to be uh, a bouncer up the middle. Drayback can't get to it. Morris will hold it second. And so the Reds got a rally going here. Morris runs at 13, Sabo a 15, so decent speed on the base pass. That brings Bill Dorn, former Astro, to the plate. He hit 300 and 403 at bats, 29 doubles, seven homers, couple triples. So big at bat here, switch hitting second baseman. Yeah, I can't hit the tower for the life of me today. Six seven, and that's going to be a fly ball out to right field. Bobby Bonilla, who's not a great fielder, will get to that one, however. And Morris has a chance to move up, so we're going to try that. So unless he gets a 10, and so he will be able. So that's deep enough to get Morris to third. So the Reds have him on the corners with two outs. For Jeff Reed. Left-handed hitting catcher. He hit 251, three home runs in, in real life. So that's a 5-6, and that's going to be a two-star single. So Jeff Reed comes through in the clutch, and the Reds have tied it up. As he hits a liner up the middle, Van Slyke will play it in a couple hops. Morris will score easily. Reed, who only runs at a 9, uh, will hold it uh, hold it first and Sabo will make it all the way to third so big hit there for Jeff Reed and the Reds as we have a tie ball game that brings Tom Browning up he is a 1W so again anybody with a bat is dangerous as Joe Nuxall used to say so two outrunners on the corners. That's a 4-2, and that's going to be a easy bouncer to second base. Jose Lean. Actually, that's a, a, he's a left-handed hitter, so that was a strikeout. So he will whiff. The Reds tie it up. One run on two base hits, or three base hits, rather. No errors, and two left on. So we go to the home half of the second. Nodded at one. Tom Browning will focus his attention on Don Slot. He hit 300 and 230 at bats. That's a 2-3. That's a ballpark check. Uh, we have bad weather here at Three River Stadium, so need a 1-3, and he didn't get it as we rolled in 11. So it looks like the park and the weather is going to favor the pitchers today. That's going to be a, let's see, we go to two, three. Actually, that's just a fly ball to right field as we, Browning is a lefty. I need to focus a little bit more on what's going on here. Thank goodness for the computer to keep me honest. Jose Lee at 261 with an art home run in his real-life 1990 campaign. That's a 3-5 versus a lefty, and that's a line out to third. So Chris Sabo will steal that. The third baseman with the goggles. And quickly, there's two away for Doug Drayback, who is a 3-in, so he does have power. That's a 6-7, and that's a second base X. Bill Dorn is a 3-10 there. 
So he gets a six. He will get to it and a nine, and he makes the play. So good defense again by the Cincinnati infield. Pirates go in order in the second. We've got two in the books here at Pittsburgh. One to one. So got the top of the Reds lineup here in the top of the third. Billy Hatcher, he grounded out to shortstop his first at bat. 1-6, needs a 2, and got a 5. So that's going to be another line out to third. So hit it hard, but right at King. He keeps grabbing him. Out number 1. Barry Larkin, he popped out to his opposite numbered. His first effort of the game. That's a 6-7. That's a fly ball out to center field. Van Slyke will have no problem with that. And that'll be out number two. Paul O'Neill will step up. He popped out to end the first. Two out, nobody on here in the third. That's a 1-4, and that's bounced back to the box. Ray Beck with the quick reflexes will field it and walk it over to Redis for out number two or out number three. So the Reds go in order. Here in the third, we are still tied at one to one. Pirates will start with the top of the order as well in the third. Gary Reed is singled and scored in the first. That's a 2-5, and he is going to strike out. Browning got him with a curveball. Out number one. Jay Bell, he singled and got as far as third base, but was stranded there. That's a 6-9, and that's a shortstop X, as we have already witnessed. Larkin is a 118, so he will get to it. We've got a 7, got an 8 9, so good defense by Barry Larkin. So he plays it in the hole, sets and throws, and got him. So another good defensive play there by the Cincinnati shortstop, and there are two away here in the Pirate third. Andy Van Slyke, he flew out to Paul O'Neill. That's a 3 8. One to four is a single, got a 10, so that's going to be a line out to third. Three, eight, got a 10 on the 20. And Bill Doran will snag the line drive, and that'll do it for the Pirates here in their half of the third as they go in order for the second inning in a row. As Tom Browning has calmed down after that shaky first, we go to the top of the fourth, still one to one. Eric Davis struck out in his first at bat. See what he could do his second effort with Doug Drabeck. That's a 5-3. It's a ballpark single check. As we know, we need a 3. We got a 20. So that will be an out of some kind for Eric Davis. It's going to be a fly ball out to Barry Bonds in left field. Barry will get his first defensive chance of the game. Out number 1. Um... 1990, I got to go see quite a few games, and I remember, I don't know if I've said this, told this story elsewhere, but uh, I saw, uh, in fact, it was the first game I ever saw away from Riverfront Stadium. We went and saw the Dodgers take on the Pirates at Three River Stadium, and Barry uh, Oral Horsheiser, who was, actually, no, this would have been 1988. I'm sorry, 1988. Uh, Hershiser had a great year that year, but he just got bombed as Bonds hit a home run uh, that game. And uh, I think Levy doubled as well. Uh, so I got to see Bonds, you know, pre-steroid, <laughs> and he was very good then as well. All right, so Hal Morris is singled and scored the lone Reds run. That's a 2-7, and that's a ground ball down to second base. Hit hard, but Lean will get to it. For out number two. Okay, 
Chris Sabo singled and got as far as third. And I just can't hit that tower for nothing today. That's a 5-4. One to two is a homer, and he got a two. So I am doing um, um, robbing chances. So if he hits that to Bonds, uh, Bonds is a one, as is Van Slyke. So it's actually hit the center field. So it gives it a ride. Home run. So I guess the walls are high enough in three rivers that they... Or it could be, this is 1990, it could be that they don't have that information. I don't know, but at any rate, that's a home run. So Chris Sabo goes deep, and the Reds are up 2-1. to one. That one wasn't out by much, but it was out of the reach of Van Slyke, and the Reds are up by one. All right, Bill Doran, he flew out in his first at bat. That's a 1-8, and that's a 1-3 is a homer. Got a 12, so that's going to be a double. So the Reds beating up on here on Dre back in the fourth. So Doran hit, lines that into the right center field gap. It'll bounce all the way to the wall. The Nia will get to it, but not before Doran is in the second with a double. All right, Jeff Reed, who already has a uh, RBI single. We'll see what he can do. They may decide to walk him. But they're actually going to pitch to him. So that's an interesting strategy. We'll see if it pays off. That's a 2-6, and it does as he grounds hard to Bell. It's short. Bell will throw it on to Reedus, and that will retire the Reds here in the fourth. But they get one run. Two base hits, no errors. They leave a runner on. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Cincinnati up by one. So Tom Browning has got four, five, and six here in the bottom of the fourth. Bobby Benilla doubled in a run in his first at bat of the game. That's a three nine, and that's gone. <laughs> That's a ballpark home run check, and it's one to eight here, uh, and he rolled a six. So three, nine. Got a six on the 20, and Benia hits it deep to left center field. And that will be a few rows back, and we have a tie ball game. Well, that one was a little further out than Sabo's, but... Same result, and we are tied at two. Well, Bobby Bonds was intentionally walked in his first at bat of the game. He gets a 6-3. That's a home run check, and that's a nine, so he just missed it. 6-3, rolled a nine. So he got a lot of it. It's back, back to the wall, and O'Neill will reach up and put it away. So Barry Bonds just missed back-to-back <laughs> -back homers. And that's one away for Jeff King, who hit into an inning-ending double play to end the first. Looking for his revenge here. That's a 2-7, and he singles the left field. So Grounder between Sabo and Larkin. They're not able to get to it. King is not a great threat to steal. He doesn't have the star. So we got Don Slot, who flew out to start the second. Got one away. So I'm gonna we're gonna play Morris behind King. And they're gonna let Slot hit away. That's a two eight, and that's a two star single. So Browning in trouble here again in the fourth. Slot lines it to right field. King will race around to third. And they have him on the corners with one out. For Jose Lee. 
So we're going to play the corners in again, hoping for a double play up the middle, trying to cut off the run if it's hit to the corners. Jose Lean lined out his first at bat. So they're going to play behind slot. They're going to let lean hit away. That's a 4-7, and that's a single to left field. So that's a liner to left field. Hatcher will play it on a hop. And they're going to hold slot at second, and the Pirates go up 3-2. to two. So the Reds' bullpen up and warming up. As Jose Lean gets the RBI single. Still just one out for Doug Drabeck, who is a three in. So we're going to have the corners in just in case he decides to bunt. And he does. He fouls off, goes to one and two, tries to lay it down again. So we can go for the lead runner. He is out one to three. So we're going to get the sure out because with their two outs, we just need to get read us out so that will be a sack bunt uh, Sabo will throw him out out number two and the Pirates have him on second and third for Gary Reedus Gary Reedus has singled and struck out so far so big at bat here for Reedus and for Browning That's a 2-6, and he hits a fly ball out to center field. Eric Davis will get to it, and that will do it for the Pirates. However, they take the lead. They get two runs on one, two, three, four base hits. No errors. They left two on, and we have played four here at Three River Stadium. The Pirates up 3-2. to two. Tom Browning will lead off here in the fifth. We'll go ahead and let him hit. It's still kind of early. We don't want to exasperate our bullpen just yet. Browning struck out in his first at bat. That's a 6-10. That's a shortstop X. Bell is a 3-23. Wait a minute. Actually, he's a lefty, so that's a catcher's card X. Slot is a 3-5. Gets a 6, and that's going to be a pop-up with no air, looks like. So Browning pops it up, and Slot will catch it in fair ground for out number 1. Billy Hatcher is 0 for 2. That's a 2-5, and that's grounded hard, but it'll be right at J. Bell. He throws on to Reedus for the second out of the inning. Barry Larkin is 0 for 2. That's a 6-2. He needs a 1 to 9. Got a 5. So that'll be a 2 out base hit for the red shortstop. Bouncer up the middle. And the Reds have a 2 out runner. Larkin is a good chance to steal, so we're going to, especially with two outs here, we're going to be a little adventuresome, see if he can get the lead. 22% chance, and he's not able to, so we won't attempt it. So that will bring Paul O'Neill, who is 0 for 2. So the top of the Reds lineup, not done so great today. And that one gets away. That's a wild pitch. So Larkin will advance to second. As Slot's not able to round that one up. The Reds have Larkin on second. He runs at a 17. Paul O'Neill again is 0 for 2 tonight. They're going to pitch to him. That's a 3-7. 1 to 9 is a single, and he got an 11. So he hits it hard, but Reedus is going to stab it. 3-7. Actually, he's... Oh. Oh, I hit 3-9. I can do that last play. I have to do that at least once a game. So let's try that again. That's a 3-7. Rolled an 11 on the 20. 
And that will be a line out to Gary Reedus to end the inning. So no runs on a hit, no errors, one runner left. We go to the home half of the fifth. Pittsburgh still up three to two. 2-3-4 two, and four do up for the Pirates here. I think the Reds manager will have a short leash, leash with Browning. So Bell is one for two. That's a 6-8, and that's going to be fly ball out to left field. Hatcher will get to it with no problems for out number one. Andy Van Slyke is 0 for 2. He's flied out and lined out. The 3-3, three, three. he needs a 1-10, to ten and he got a 7. So that's going to be another base hit. Base hit number 8 of the day for the Pirates. And Slyke does have the star, so we will hold him on. Bobby Bonilla already has a home run and a double today, so he's had his way with Browning. Let's we'll see what they do with Van Slyke. He's trying to get the lead, and he's not able to. So Bonilla will hit away. That's a 5-6. He's a righty, and that's popped up on the infield, so Browning's able to get Bonilla on this time. Chase on a high fastball, and all he can do is pop it up. Larkin waves everybody off for out number two. That brings Barry Bonds to the plate. He was intentionally walked and just missed hitting a home run in his last at bat. Here's the pitch from Browning. That's a 1-6, and that's going to be gone. <laughs> so he needed a 5, and he rolled a 3. So this time Bonds didn't miss it as he goes deep to right center field. And Pirates are up five to two. So I think that'll do it for Browning. See who the Reds got in the bullpen here. Don't know if we want to go to the Nasty Boys just yet. I think we've got uh, maybe a Leona. Okay, we'll go with Tim Leona. Well, that'll do it for Browning. Nothing to write home there about for sure. Tim Leona here. Leona was uh, five and three with the three forty nine ERA. Seeing if he can keep the deficit to three. Right handed pitcher. So he'll start off with King. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Two seven and he needs a seven. He got a thirteen. So that's a line out to short in the inning. Larkin will spirit, and that will do it, but not before Barry Bonds puts the Pirates up by three. So the Reds got the work cut out for them here as they'll tackle Dre back in the top of the sixth. Eric Davis is struck out and flight out. Through the dice behind the table. Always keep a spare. 6-9, <laughs> and he strikes out once again. So, Drayback gets him with a changeup. Davis not able to time that one, and he is out number one here in the sixth. Hal Morris is singled, scored, and grounded out. Man, why can't that power today? 3-8, and that's a fly out to right field amongst all of those singles. Drebeck finds the out, and Benia will squeeze it for out number two. 
Chris Sabo is singled in homer today. So he's doing what he can to give the Reds the victory. That's a 4-8. That's popped up on the infield. Gary Reedus will be the one to catch it for out number three. So Doug Graybeck holds the Reds here in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the six. Pittsburgh Pirates five, Cincinnati Reds two. So we'll let Leanna see if he can get another inning here of Pirates out. He'll start with Don Slott, who is one for two. That's a 4-7, and he's going to draw a walk. Not how you want to start off the top of the inning. Again, Slot is not a threat to steal, so we're going to play behind him, and I don't think... Uh, I don't think they're going to try to bunt with Lean and the pitcher up, so we're going to play the infield back at double play depth. And they are indeed going to let Jose Lean hit away. He's got an RBI single to his credit today. That's a 4-7, and he walks. That's twice today. I think I've rolled the same number twice. That doesn't happen too often. And it did have to land on a bad result for the Reds. So back-to-back -back walks. The Reds' bullpen is up and at it again. So that will bring Dre back up. And, of course, we'll bring the infield in. Again, he is a 3 in, so he can hit. They're going to let him hit. That's a 5-10. That's a center field X. Davis is a 2-3. So hopefully he can get to this one. And he rolled a 2. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? That's a two-star single. And he didn't make an error, however, but he won't be able to get to it. So the pitcher will bloop one into center field. Slot will score. Lean will make it to third. And the Reds are not doing well at all. Doug so Drayback helping himself. It is now 6-2, to two, Pirates. So we're going to bring the infield in for, uh, for Gary Reedus. Nobody out. Drayback's not a threat to steal, so we'll play behind him. Reedus is one for three today. That's a three six, and he hits a fly ball out to left field. The possibility for a tag up. Lean runs at 16. Hatcher has a minus one arm. I say they're probably going to attempt it. They are. One to 17. And we got to throw for the lead runner. And chances are slim, and he will slide in safely. As Drayback will make it to second. Actually, he doesn't. Drayback holds it first. So, so Lean will score. Sacrifice fly for Gary Reedus. It's just the first out of the inning. Pirates are up 7-2. to two. So, Jay Bell will tackle Leona here. Actually, we don't want to hold on Lean, or Drayback, rather. That's a 6-5, and that's a shortstop X. Larkin again is a 118, so hopefully he can turn the double play. He gets a 9, so he does that. He got a 5. That's a rare play, possibly. All right, interesting. So it ends up being a 6-4 double play, but what happens is is that uh, uh, Drayback tried to break up the double play, but they decided he went way out of the baseline, so they called him with interference. So that's a 6-4-3 double play the hard way. So 6-4 for out number two. 6-4-3 double play. Interference for out number three. So the Pirates tack on two more. On just one base hit, no errors. There was nobody left on. We go to the top of the seventh. It is seven to two, Pittsburgh Pirates. So the Reds playoff hopes off to a rough start here in game one in Pittsburgh. So Drayback will tackle Bill Doran, Jeff Reed in the pitcher spot here in the uh, top of the seventh. Bill Doran has doubled and flied out. 
That's a 6-7, and that's a fly ball out to right field. Benilla will track it down for out number one. Jeffrey is singled in a run and grounded out. That's a 2-8, and that's a single to center field. So he gets his second base hit of the game. Hit number seven for the Reds. So that'll bring up the pitcher spot. And of course, we will pinch hit for Leana. Put Jeff Reed over there. So see, Drabeck is good against righties, so I need a lefty who hits righties. Looks like Herm Winningham would be a good choice, so we'll go with good old Herm. Well, these names bring back a lot of memories. <laughs> This is obviously a little different than playing 1947 because I didn't see any of those guys play, but obviously I saw a lot of these guys play in the 1990 season. All right, so we got Herm Winningham. We'll step to the plate. He hit 256 with three home runs in real life. So obviously we're not going to do anything with Reed <laughs> being down as we are. 1-4 is a Single check, we need a three, got a 17, so he will not get a single here at Three River Stadium. So he will actually pop it up on the infield, and Jose Lean will get to it for out number two. So that brings Billy Hatcher to the plate. He's 0 for 3. And that's a 1-7, and that's popped up on the infield as well, so... Bell will squeeze it, and that will do it for the Reds in the seventh as we go to the seventh inning stretch. we got to find a pitcher here. So the trivia question is, which hand did Chet Lemon throw with? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I'm going to say Chet Lemon threw left-handed. And I was wrong. He threw right-handed. All right, so we need a pitcher here. So obviously we don't, being down by five, we probably don't want to use our our uh, nasty boys. Mm -hmm. Let's bring in, uh, let's give Tim Burtzis. Eh, I don't know about that. Let's try, uh, let's try Rick Mailer. He, he, half of his year was in relief. Put him in at pitcher and see if he can keep the deficit to where it is, if at all possible. So Rick Mailer, who was 7-6 and six with a 428 ERA in 1990. We'll see what he can do here with Andy Van Slyke. Like is one for three with the run scored. That's a two four versus a righty, and he's going to draw a walk. Bobby Benilla has had a big day. He is homered and doubled. He's got two RBIs and a run scored. Vance Light can't get the lead, so the, Red, the Pirates trying to rub it in here, getting stolen bases up by five. That's a 5-8. That's a fly ball out to center field. Eric Davis will get to it for the first out of the inning. Barry Bonds is intentionally walked and hit a two-run home run himself. And I killed our runner there. That's a 1-6, and that's going to be a two-star double. So Bonds and Benilla are dealing punishment out to the Reds as he hits that into the right center field gap. Nobody will get to it. Vince Slack will make it to second, or to third, rather. Bonds to second. Pirates are threatening again. 
We're going to bring the infield in for Jeff King. He is one for three. Did hit into that double play back in the first, which was hopeful for the Reds. That's a 1-12, and he draws a walk. So now the base is loaded. Full of Pittsburgh Pirates. For Don Slott, who has singled and walked, scored a run. So we're going to do the corners in this time, hoping for that double play up the middle. Slott is a slow runner, so hopefully he is a good candidate for that. That's a 2-7, and that's going to be a two-star single. So it just keeps getting worse for the Reds here. She got some 15. And that's a liner up the middle. Van Slyke will score. Bonds will score. King will make it to third. And the Pirates are up 9-2. to two. We're going to stick with Mailer here because at this point we just don't want to waste any more of our bullpen because this game looks like it might be a wash for the Reds. So we'll keep the co Actually, let's go ahead and put the infield back, see if we can get the double play. Lean is relatively quick, so we will see what we can do. Actually, we don't want to hold slot on it first. All right, so the infield back for the double play, hopefully. That's a 1-6, and that's going to be hit hard to short. Larkin will dish it on to Doran, on to Morris, and the Reds get the 6-4-3 double play. But not before the Pirates tack on two more, so they've scored two runs, four innings in a row. Get two runs on just one base hit. Couple walks, no errors. They leave one runner on. We go to the top of the eighth. It is nine to two, Pittsburgh Pirates. So Larkin will start off for the Reds, seeing if they can at least make it interesting. Larkin is singled in three at bats. That's a three five, and he's going to hit that one. Got a four on the 20, so that's trouble as he lines that one to deep center field. Over the head of Van Slyke. Takes a bad bounce off the wall. Larkin's going to chuck around second and slide into third for the triple. So that'll put runner on third. Of course, the Pirates are going to play back. Paul O'Neill is 0 for 3 today, so Larkin with his second base hit of the game. That's a 5-7, and he is going to whiff. Strikeout number four today for Doug Drabeck. Out number one. Eric Davis is 0 for 3 with a couple strikeouts himself, so he has collected half of Drabeck's strikeouts today. That's a 3-5, and he's going to draw a walk this time. Davis is patient and is able to get the base on balls. So the Reds have them on the corners with one out. For Hal Morris, who is one for three with a run scored. Again, Pirates playing back at double play depth. That's a 5-5, five, five, and that's trouble. Got a two on the 20. So that is hit into the right center field gaps. Larkin scores easily. Davis is going to chuck around to score, and Morris is in with a triple. So the second triple of the inning for the Reds. A two-run RBI triple for Hal Morris, and Dave Drabeck is tired. So 9-4 to four Pittsburgh. As the Reds are trying to make it interesting here in their half of the eighth. So we'll see if the Pirates go to the bullpen, and they indeed do. So they're going to be making a double switch as Bob Patterson will pitch and Mike Lavalier will catch. 
Well, that's it for Drayback. He was chugging along there, but hit a bit of a speed bump in the eighth. Okay. I tried to put him with the Reds. So that'll be it for Drayback. And they're going with Patterson. Bob Patterson was uh, eight and five with a 295 ERA. So Morris on third, still just one out. They're going to play the infield back for Chris Sabo, who is two for three with a home run. That's a 5-8, and that's a fly ball out to center field. That will be deep enough to score Morris, but Pirates do get that second out, and the Reds cut the deficit to four. Number two, RBI number two of the game for Chris Sabo. So that'll bring Bill Dorn to the plate with two out and nobody on. Nine to five, Pittsburgh Pirates. That's a 5-3. That's a single check. I can't get the stupid 20 to settle. There you go. <laughs> Never had that much trouble. So it goes to a 13, and so that's going to be an out. I hit the wrong one again, so undo that. So we actually need a 5-3. I had a 5-2. Got a 13. So that's a grounder ball to third. And King will play it for out number three. So the Reds get three runs on a couple hits. No errors. Nobody left on. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Pittsburgh Pirates 9, Cincinnati Reds 5. So again, Mike Lavalier, who came in on the double switch, will lead off here in the bottom of the eighth. So get his card out. Mike Lavalier. Put him in the book. Left-handed hitting catcher. So we'll see what Mailer can do here. Let's see. He's due to hit second next inning. We'll give him a chance. If he can try to, again, with us getting within four, there's a bit of a hope. So let's see what he can do with Lavalier here. Lavalier hit 258 with three home runs in real life. That's a 3-9, and he gets a single. So hit number 13 for the Pirates as Rick Mailer is just stinking royally in his first appearance in the playoffs. That brings Gary Reedus to the plate. The Valier, we're going to play behind him. Hate to go to the bullpen again. Let's see what he can do with Reedus here. Reedus does not hit righties well, and Mailer pitches good at, well against righties. So we'll see if he can... 3-6, so that's a fly ball out to left field. So he will get the first out of the inning as Billy Hatcher will get to it for the first out. Jay Bell is one for four today. That's a 4-9, and that's a walk. That'll put another runner up. Yet another runner on. That's the third walk by Mailer today. So that's going to be it for Mailer. Had enough of that. So let's go to our bullpen here. So we got, uh, again, you hate to waste the nasty boys. They don't have anybody else besides those three that are very good. Hmm. Except for Leon, and we've already used him. Could do Danny Jackson, but he's our fourth starter. Now let's go ahead with Norm Charlton. 
again. I want to see if we can hang on to here a little bit here. So I'm charting the lefty. We'll get Andy Van Slyke, the lefty. So that's it for Mailer. Very unimpressive performance. Norm Charlton was 12 and 9 with no saves. He started 12 games, but quite a bit of relief. So one out. Let's see here, we don't want to hold Lavalier at second. All right, so Van Slyke is one for three with a couple of runs today. That's a 5-11. That's grounded back to the pitcher. X. Carlton is a 2-10. So he gets a 5. So that's going to be a slow grounder. He gets a 12. So he doesn't make an error. So slow grounder. And all he can do is get Van Slyke as the runners advance. Did get that important second out. So he will focus his attention on the switch hitting Bobby Bonilla. Bobby Bonilla has had a great day today. He's two for four with a double and a home run. So the Pirates have second and third. Obviously, we're not going to walk him to get to Bond. So here we go. It's a 6-6. Six, six, and he is a righty. And that's a slow grounder to second base. The Doran will field it to end the inning. So Charlton does a good job of not allowing any more to score as the Pirates leave two on. So we go to the top of the ninth. Cincinnati down by four. And they're going to stick with Patterson, at least starting out here. So we got Rick Re or Jeff Reed, so we're going to pinch hit for him. Now let's go ahead and uh, bring in Joe Oliver so we're not wasting a pinch hitter just yet. If we do tie it up. He can catch. So that's the righty, Joe Oliver. Will come into the game. Jeff Reed. Here is the pitch from Patterson. That's a 6 8, and that's a single. Oliver gets a base hit in his first at bat in the postseason. And so Norm Charlton is up. He has a 2W. So we're going to pinch hit for him. So we need a righty who hits lefties. We got Glenn Bragg. So this, of course, he was, I believe he was the hero in the championship series if I remember correctly again I was in the army so I didn't get to watch any of it because I was in basic training so we'll bring Glenn Braggs in see if the pirates stick with Patterson here so Glenn Braggs was 299 with six home runs 201 at bats they're going to stick with Patterson with that four-run lead. They're going to see what he can do. That's a 3-5, and that's a two-star single. So the Reds get the tying run on deck as Oliver will make it to third. And that brings Billy Hatcher to the plate. So they're playing the infield back. Billy Hatcher is 0 for 4 today. I missed the tower once again. That's a 2 7. That's a fly ball to center field uh, with a possibility of a tag up. And Slyke has a minus 3 arm, and Oliver runs at a 10. So I don't think we're going to take that chance. So they're gonna, we're going to hold Oliver at third. So Hatcher flies out for out number one. That brings Barry Larkin to the plate. He is two for four with a triple. Run scored. They're going to stick with Patterson. So here's the pitch to Larkin. That's a 4-8. And that's going to be 
a two-star single. As he gets an eight on the 20. That's a liner to right field. Oliver scores easy. Braggs will make it to third as he runs at a 14. And the Reds have cut the deficit to three. And the tying run is at the plate. So the Reds making it interesting as Barry Larkin gets his third base hit of the game. First RBI. He's a decent chance to score, or to steal, rather. That would definitely take the double play out, but you hate to <laughs> get thrown out stealing. Let's see what O'Neill can do. He's got 16 home runs, so he's got a little power. And, of course, they're going to stick with Patterson, I imagine. Yep, with him being a lefty. So here we go. Tying run at the plate. O'Neill is 0 for 4 today. That's a 4-7, and he strikes out. Patterson with the big strike out there. So Neal's not able to deliver. And the Reds are down to their last out in Eric Davis. So now this will be interesting to see if they if they bring in another pitcher or they stick to Patterson. I said Patterson was 8 and 5 with a 295 ERA, so he was good. Didn't have any saves, however, and they're going to stick with him. Eric Davis is a little better against lefties. So we'll see. Big at bat here. That's a 4-4. That's a center field X. And Slyke is a fine 110. So he will get to it. So if he doesn't make an error, the game's over. So he got a 2. So that's a fine defensive play. And an 8. So Van Slyke saves the game. That would have been a base hit for just about any other fielder. Van Slyke with a wonderful play. And that ends the game. They get a run on three base hits. They leave two on, and that's the end of the game. Final score, Pittsburgh 9, Cincinnati 6. Check our box score here. So Browning takes the loss. Drabeck with the win, even though he didn't have that great of an outing. Uh, the offensive stars would have to be Bonilla and Bonds, of course, and Don Slott added a couple RBIs. Barry Larkin had three hits for the Reds. So... Uh, that will do it for game number one as the Pirates go up one to nothing. And um, so uh, I will try to do all seven games here. Uh, and I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you next time.